Hey guys, it is the run-up to the Gamescom Star Citizen presentation, and I thought I'd get a quick video up summarising some of the stuff that's happened this week uh, for Star Citizen in general, uh, before that presentation goes live, as I suspect as soon as it does, I'll spend the rest of my weekend just going through um, overviews of that and uh, ship sales and all the cool stuff that they've been um, talking about there. So Star Citizen have been streaming straight from the show floor at Gamescom, um, kind of showcasing various aspects of Star Citizen, and uh, that's being hosted by some of our favourite streamers, Twerk17, Bad News Baron, DJ Knight, Disco Lando, and Captain Richard were all there, um, hosting uh, that kind of Star Citizen show, as it were. Uh, it's been mostly focused on the newer community members, or getting people kind of more up to speed with current gameplay. There are giveaways are done every hour um it is a little bit of a community fest as well there's lots of people in the chat um all chatting uh, if you're a veteran backer though and you're up to date with the news you haven't really missed much though uh, a couple of cool little things were talked about there brian chambers uh, on the stream stated that they were still looking at direct x12 and vulcan support and they will use what, whatever makes sense for them and the engine um so that could be one, that could be both. A lot of people seem to be in favour of Vulcan. Please tell me in the description, or the comments below in fact, uh, what your opinion is. Do you, think, do you think they should use DirectX 12? Do you think they should use Vulcan? Do you think they should use neither and something else? Do you think they should just use DirectX 11? Tell me what you think, however crazy or cool it is. Um, also, it's been reiterated that the star maps that we can see and that we've got pictures of and that we can see the star systems of are not complete by any means. Um, they are totally... Um, uh, there are totally undiscovered systems not shown on those maps uh, that they're going to be there to explore and find. And they've also given some lore about Grimhex and its tethered asteroids. So uh, by Grimhex, the Grimhex station is tethered to a load of other as little smaller asteroids. And this is because um, it's a, it was a mining base. And asteroids' mass will change during mining. And... Uh, while their mass changes dramatically, that could also affect their orbits. And their erratic orbits would be dangerous. And there also might be legal restrictions about how much you could mine into an asteroid um, with, without it being dangerous. You don't want to kill your employees and that sort of stuff. So less reputable companies may tether their asteroids together or to other asteroids, to other mass, to secure their mass, to anchor them and to try and avoid some of those restrictions. I like that. I, I didn't really know what those tethers were there for. I thought they might have been connecting to other facilities. But it's nice to know that they've got an in-law purpose, which is um, to, to anchor that station or to increase its mass or whatever. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you can watch those live streams that are daily until Sunday, I believe, um, at uh, robertspaceindustries.com slash gamescom. All of the info is there. Um, Check the description for all the links and all that jazz. Also, Twerk17 is doing a blog every day of, that, of, uh, of the Gamescom event and is obviously is, um, hosting there as well. So check that out. It will be worth looking at, especially, I assume, Saturday and Sunday where he's going to be hungover and talking about the presentation. So that should be pretty cool. And with the presentation in mind, it is today, Friday at 7 p.m. UTC. And that's going to be live from uh, twitch.tv slash star citizen i suggest anyone that's interested in star citizen join in for that it's going to be awesome the only other major kind of presentation this year should be at uh citizen con although we might get an anniversary presentation as well hmm. we'll have to wait and see i suppose uh there should be a sale um a ship sale in general straight after the gamescom presentation where you'll be able to pick up some uh, of the limited ships that you aren't normally able to pick up but also going to be selling the anvil uh terrapin which we saw a picture of and um, there was a help the herald campaign uh, on twitter where if you um retreated the uh, image a certain amount of times they unlocked it so you could see that more and more of this image as it was like being decoded by a herald was the, the in-law reason for it. Uh, and we get to see that it was the Anvil Terrapin, which is going to be the next concept sale ship, which will be sold later today, um, barring any crazy blockers. And uh, yeah, I'll get a ship uh, buyer's guide straight off um, after the uh, the presentation. I'll also get a video just doing a overview. I'll get the overview done first, and then I'll get the ship buyer's guide. And then anything else that needs to be done videos-wise, I'll get done after that as well. But the Terrapin looks cool. Looks like a second or third tier starship. Natural progression from um, uh, the 
uh, Auroras and Mustangs probably, maybe with a little bit more of an industrial feel. Um, the original blurb talks about it being a tough nut to crack, it being heavily armoured and heavily shielded. Um, and it being a general favourite with like miners and industry people. Um, so I have to wait and see exactly what's going to go on with that ship, because obviously it might have evolved somewhat. It's changed from Aegis to Anvil um, in, in its original like early concept. Um, and yeah, the ship looks cool. Uh, it looks very Anvil-like as well. Um, there's also a free flight until the 22nd of August. Just go to S cfreefly.com um, if you'd like to try Star Citizen for free until then um, or um, you can also get access to some ships that you might not have had access to before uh, and anyone can add these to their account uh, in the same way go to SC Fly Free, log into your account or make a new account type in the, the code uh, on that page Gamescom 2016 and you'll also uh, get a Sabre, Mustang, Gamma and Freelancer to try during that period Two, it's a good time to check out Star Citizen uh, to see if the alpha development cycle is something that you might enjoy or to showcase it to your friends. Remember though, it's not a fully fleshed out game at the moment. If you're looking for a fully fleshed out game, check out something else. This is very much in its development process um, for testing, for development, for players that want to develop, uh, to participate in that process. Uh, and uh, for me, that's incredibly enjoyable. Might not be your cup of tea, but that's why we have these free flies for you to test that. Star Citizen Alpha 2.5 is still in the PTU phase. It's in, currently in the second wave of PTU testers. Um, it, it's looking pretty damn good, and I suspect it will go live any day now, any hour now, possibly. Um, there's also some free weapons if we're in the PTU to test during that 2.5 PTU phase. Um, if you go to the um, Voyager Direct store, on the PTU uh, website, so ptu.cloudimperiumgames.com slash void direct slash weapons, link in the description. You can add any of the weapons that are on the page that have a value of zero UBC to your account for that PTU test. Uh, they want you to be able to test out those weapons. Um, so to jump in, test them, use them, grab a load of them to, to try, obviously that get wiped off your account when the PTU test is over. Um, we also got to see the Urza Rover sneak peek. So they're doing a new newsletter uh, and it's much, much better in my opinion. Um, so every week we're going to get to see uh, a little bit better roundup of the news from from uh, RSI when they send us a letter. Uh, but at the bottom of that letter, there was a little, little um, photo of the Urza Rover and they talked about it that we're going to see a whole lot more of that Rover um, and it's going to be for planetary exploration, obviously. We know that they're working on the Constellation Aquila uh, currently, and that comes with the Urza Rover, I believe. So I think that that's going to be quite exciting. I Hopefully we're going to have the uh, Aquila and the Urza Rover when patch 2.7 uh, drops, and we can use it to explore planets. That would be cool. That's my assumption. I hope it's true. Something not entirely Star Citizen related, but lightly Star Citizen related, uh, budget graphics cards at the moment. So I've got a 1066 GB and an RX 480 at the moment, and they are very good budget cards, but there are already better competitors for price point uh, for Star Citizen and in more generally uh, 1080p gaming, in my opinion, at the moment now. Uh, the 1060 3 gigabyte version uh, has just come onto the market, which is an amazing uh, choice for a card, but just because of the price points right and the, the performance. Uh, but, but there's also the RX 470 and the RX 460. The RX 460 um, is a sub £100 card, um, I think probably around $100 as well. Uh, it's super cheap, it's the cheapest one now I've mentioned. And it doesn't really compete with the other two performance wise, it, it, it is significantly uh, less powered, but for 1080p gaming, if you want, uh, if you're on a super tight budget, or you're just trying to bleed the life of a much older system, um, trying to get that little tiny bit of uh, extra year out of a system or whatever, uh, I think it's a great choice. It's super cheap, uh, and it will replace the super cheap budget cards, uh, in my opinion. Great card, great card. Uh, the 1063 gigabyte version though, is less CUDA cores and less RAM, but it is cheaper. Uh, and it's got solid performance. People are still saying that it's uh, around uh, a RX 480's performance. Uh, I'll have to test it. I haven't actually got one. I haven't got one of them or the uh, RX 470 or 460 yet waiting on them at the moment. Uh, but that 1060, significantly cheaper uh, and you don't need that extra RAM. So you might as well go for the cheaper version. In very specific circumstances, you might need the extra three gigs, but um, we'll talk about that later when you actually have a card. And that RX 470, very similar performance to a, a RX 480. Better price point, 
Um, if you're talking about budget cards, then I think it's going to be a great one. But I will do proper videos on that uh, with performance and statistics and everything. Once I have those two cards, I'll do a video on all of them, comparing them all, because I have the figures for all of them now. Uh, and I also did an article coming up on bottlenecking and explaining how hardware stuff works and what the good system set up for Star Citizen or modern games would be on 1080, uh, 1440 and 4K and other resolutions in between and after. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm prepping for the presentation uh, for tonight. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going to be doing lots of Twitter today. I'm going to be uh, digging up as much information as I can about stuff and getting ready, getting some uh, some ship buyers guides ready on the website. But you can take care, guys. Thank you so much for watching uh, and for listening to me wrap it on. Uh, if you would like to win a Dragonfly, please comment on any of our Star Citizen videos during the month of August for a chance to win that. Um, if uh, the Terrapins are not super overpriced, uh, I will uh, grab a couple for giveaways uh, for the next couple of months as well. Um, so that's what we'll be doing uh, until Christmas, probably. Uh, unless there's another cool shit that comes out. Anyway, guys, you take care. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It genuinely does help me a lot, and I will see you in the verse.